you hate Bitcoin, but is there anything that could change your mind? Well, you know, in my view, calling Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, currencies a misnomer, uh, they're not a unit of account. They're not a scalable and widely used means of payment. With Bitcoin, you can do five transactions per second. With the Visa network, you can do 25,000 transactions per second. It's not a stable store of value over wealth or over goods and services. And it's not a single numerator, as you have thousands of tokens. And therefore, it's like going back to barter. There's not even a single numerator to have price transparency. So they are not currencies. And if and when soon there'll be central bank digital currencies that are going to dominate for payment services, not only cryptocurrencies, but also private forms of money like uh, uh, deposits in the banking system or online payment services. The question is that whether they are assets. You know, for something to be an asset has to provide you some income like stocks or bonds or loans or real estate. They don't provide you any income. You know, uh, residential real estate provides you housing but services. Gold provides you not sorry, income, I'll but uses in industry or jewelry as utility. While Bitcoin is not having any income, doesn't have any users, doesn't have liquidity services, doesn't have a utility. What's the intrinsic value of it? It's just a self-fulfilling bubble. What yes. about the central banks? You mentioned the central banks are investigating. There's more than 50 central banks investigating issuing digital currencies. If the Fed issued yeah. a digital currency, could it be a could it be one of the alpha stores of value? Would you, if you had to make a choice to own a central bank digital currency from the Fed, would you? Well, you know, a central bank digital currency will be just a digital manifestation of something that right now it's already partly digital. You know, of the base money in circulation, only coins and paper money is non-digital, while reserves of banking systems that are 95% of base money are already digital. And eventually, I think that every central bank is going to have a digital manifestation of its currency. And for payment services right now, we're relying on, say, bank deposits, wire transfer, you name it. But once you have a central bank digital currency, everybody's going to have an account with the central bank, not just commercial banks. And therefore, payment systems, you can do transactions instantaneously, securely, cheaply, with instant settlement and clearing. And therefore, central bank digital currency are going to dominate any form of private payment system as a means of payment. That's the direction we're going. The Chinese are going to be the first one. The European are going to have a new euro. And eventually, even the Fed will have to move because otherwise, the Chinese have a plan to make the RMB a global reserve currency. And therefore, the US has also to think about the digital manifestation of the dollar. It's necessary. It's going to happen Nuria. over time. Yes. Nuria, before we let you go, we want to get a sense of what the biggest risk is on, on your radar. You're here, you're in Dubai, you're in the Middle East talking to, talking to people around the region. What is the biggest risk for 2021? Well, well, I would say, first of all, I think people are really starting to worry about the return of inflation and what that's going to imply for bonds and also for equities. I think that's a key risk that people are asking. And I think that increasingly people around the world are starting to worry about the increasing conflict between the U.S. and China. I think people are underestimating how much even something on Taiwan may lead to a military confrontation. It's a risk that is a tail risk, but it's underpriced. And U.S. and China currently are on a collision course. There's a cold war, it's becoming colder, and I think the risk of even a hot war is rising over time. That's a serious geopolitical risk to keep in mind. It could totally disrupt economies and markets.